Hi everyone, this is Stephanie from Mrs. D's Corner. I'm here today to tell you all about my two-in-one editable substitute binder that is useful for both short and long-term substitutes. So whether you're only going to be out for one day or you're going to be out on maternity leave or short-term, long-term disability, this binder is the perfect thing for you to set up for your classroom substitute. The first thing you're going to do is download this document and it's going to be a zip file. Once you download and unzip it, this is what you're going to see inside your zipped folder, the unzipped folder. You're going to see your editable subtub spines, the editable substitute binder itself, the PDF version of the substitute binder, as well as the editable binder tabs. This is just the preview. This is what you'll see over here um, when, before you purchase and preview the document. Let's take a look at the PDF version first. The first thing you're going to see is this cover page. This is not necessarily for you to print, it is just for the aesthetics. One thing that I'm really excited about with this substitute binder is the different clip art people that you can pick or choose from to be your cover page. There are both men and women versions of this cover page, so it's not just for the ladies, guys. The next thing you'll find is the index. There is one, as you see, that I have listed out portions of the substitute binder where you can write in the page numbers, or you can use the blank index page in the editable version and add your own index pages in there. Same goes for the Dear Substitute letter. There is one already written out for you. All you need to do is sign your name at the bottom, or you can make your own in the editable version. Within each tabbed portion of this binder, you'll see the actual tab page here. Each page is adorned with the cute little Melon Heads Kid Lit Clip Art. Um, they're all different. I tried to keep them all different so you don't think that two pages are the same and that way you can tell them apart. So where to find it? You'll find two pages in the where to find it tab. These are both editable in the editable version. And again, editable means that you're able to edit text boxes within the PDF or within the PowerPoint version. I'm sorry, the PowerPoint version. You can't move clip art. You can't move anything that I have already placed on the page due to copyright on the clip art as well as my work. The next part is the schedule. There is a blank page for you to put in your own daily schedule, or you can use one of the templates that I've provided for you. Include your special schedule. For those of you that have specific specials on a certain day of the week, there is a weekly special schedule for you there. For those of you who might be like my school, we have eight days of specials that are rotated, so it's different every week. You can use the blank version and the editable version to add in your own boxes and text to create your own special schedule for the sub. For those of you who are special ed teachers like myself, there is a pull-out schedule page that you can include for the substitute to help keep them up to date with who's being pulled out, you know, for inclusion or resource, or maybe um, they leave early, different things like that where they're being pulled out and out of the classroom. Class rules and routines. Then you have this morning routines, procedures pages for lunch, recess, afternoon, all parts of your day. Feel free to use this or you can um, use a blank page and search your own. Again, they're editable by adding text in the editable version. Class list. For those of you who have classroom jobs, you can explain how classroom jobs look like, what they look like in your classroom. The seating chart, there's two different versions for you to draw in your seating chart. Those of you who have long classrooms and then those of you who have wide classrooms. IEPs and 504s. You, there's two different versions of the IEP snapshot. One that includes assistive tech for those of you who have students with assistive technology. And then there's one that just includes the goals. 
and a 504 snapshot. There's also a services schedule page included for you to help your substitute keep track of when OT, PT, and speech come into your classroom. Or you can also call this a who goes where. Behavior management. Explain your classroom behavior system. What positive and negative reinforcers do you use in your classroom that the substitute should be aware of? And then there's a sheet for your substitute to write back to you about students that were problem behaviors or who had problem behaviors throughout the school day that maybe you need to talk to them or call home the next day when you get back. There's a behavior log and there's also a sheet that the substitute can find or send home or leave for you to send home when you get back. Medical concerns. There's a page for medical concerns as well as a page for allergies. They look exactly the same except it says medical concerns and allergies so you can include one of those, both of them, or none at all. Need a student? Need a hand? Ask these students. There's a page for them to see who the trustworthy students are in your classroom. Passes. There are a couple passes in here for you to use um, with your substitute, bathroom pass, office, nurse, computer lab pass, library pass. Um, feel free to use these or feel free not to if you have um, tangible passes in your classroom already. Lunch and recess rules. Dismissal and after school. Who rides the bus? Who is picked up in a car? Who walks home? Or maybe some students ride a bike or they have other ways of getting home like daycare or after school care. How we go home, just another way for you to organize the information. A note to the teacher. This is a note to the teacher for the substitute to leave to you to let you know how their day was. School info. Leave important people information for your substitute to know who to go to if there's an issue or if they have questions. Emergency information. Fire drill, lockdown, severe weather, other. Um, for example, for other, we are not allowed to blow whistles at our school. That will immediately put us into a lockdown. So that would be something I would include in the other. Please don't blow your whistle at recess. Contact info. There are many different versions of this page depending on how many assistant principals you have, secretaries, nurses. Um, I've been in many different schools with many different numbers of staff, so I tried to include as many as possible to help you the most. Notes to the sub. So these are notes from you to the substitute. Two different versions here depending on which you'd like to use. Sponge activities and extra lessons. They're kind of the same thing. You can choose which one you'd like to use or choose not to use either of them. You could even print these out and laminate them on front of a, of a manila folder to keep them out for your substitute if they have extra time with the students. Now here's the long-term sub stuff. And this is what makes the substitute binder different from a regular substitute binder. The first couple of pages you'll see are class tour pages. You can insert your classroom photos into the collages and write about what the picture is. This is a great way to teach your substitute where things are in your classroom or what you do at these certain stations. These are editable in the editable version of the substitute binder. And there's also a blank version in case you'd like to make your own collage. The calendar. Calendar pages for each year of the month, each month of the year probably get that right. Parent information. Maybe you have parent volunteers or room moms who come in and do your copies. That would be good information to leave for your long-term substitute. Parent contact information. Passwords. Passwords are always a really great thing to leave for your substitute. This would be great in your short-term binder or your long-term binder. And student passwords as well. Assessments. Spelling tests, math tests, all of these pages are blank for you to leave all of the important information for your substitute to tell them how spelling test procedures, how math testing procedures work in your classroom. Reading tests, DRA testing, science, benchmarks, 
standards and rubrics and guide and reading tabs, a reading block, daily five, and pages for you to explain how those different subjects work in your classroom. And again, you're probably not going to use all three of those. You choose the one that fits your classroom the best. Math, history, social studies. So I tabbed both of those, history and social studies, depending on what you call it at your school. Science, long range plans, give them an idea of what to be looking forward to teaching um, in the coming months since they, since they will be there for a while. So this is a different layout um, of long-term range plans. So they can use these lesson plan layouts or their own. Duties, do you have a morning duty that you need to tell the substitute about or an afternoon duty? Centers, how do reading centers work in your classroom? Do you do them by week or by month? There's a page for each. There's a page for each for math, for a week of and the month. Student information. This screen here is a page for you to include pictures of each of your photos so that the substitute can learn your students' names rather quickly. And you can leave specific notes about each child, maybe things that they like, things they don't like, strengths that they have, or things that you're working on with them. Classroom birthdays. When are your kids' birthdays? And how do you celebrate classroom birthdays? Contact log. This is a great portion to have in your long-term substitute binder to keep track of when your substitute is talking to teachers, or not teachers, to parents, who may also be teachers. There's another contact log version in here if they would rather use this, or you would rather have them use that. Parent conferences. How things work. Now this tab can be very broad. You can include as many or as little of these things as, as you want. Specials, there's different graphing, graphic organizers here for you. Technology, free time, free choice, however you call it. Reading buddies, resource time, inclusion time. Writer's workshop, testing procedures for state testing regular procedures like classroom procedures, how do you line up for lunch, how do you do dismissal, do you have classroom jobs that maybe you didn't put that tab in, you'd rather put it here. Team procedures, how often does your team meet, when do you meet, where do you meet, things like that. And then school-wide procedures, when are faculty meetings, do you have assemblies, are you allowed to wear jeans on Friday, things like that. Grades, there's a grade book page here for them to use. ESL and ELL students, copies, so they can keep track of copies, as well as instructions for making copies. Now, we just went through 176 pages of the substitute binder. So let me show you the sub, sub binder spines. When you open up the editable version, you're gonna notice these text boxes. Notice I cannot move what is already placed here. They don't move, they're there. You can only add at the text, edit the text. So you can put sub binder. You can change the text. You can change the color. And that's outlined in white, so you can also change the outline. Maybe you don't like it at all and you want it to be um, different way and you want it to face this way, so you can change it to face the opposite way. You have binder spines for one inch, one and a half inch, two inch, three inch. So they're all there for you. Only print the ones that you need. Then there are, is also the binder tabs. Same thing goes here. You'll put your tab titles here, whichever ones you want to use. There's one and a quarter inch tabs, one and a half inch tabs, and two inch tabs. Feel free to use the size that works best for you. And then you have the editable version of the sub binder. Again, you're not um, able to move any of the clip art or the general layout of anything, but you can edit text boxes. You can add text boxes. So if you wanted, for example, maybe down here to say, you put your name on it. 
and then add the year. You certainly could do that. Oops. And there we go. I had to figure out where I was for a second. So you could do that, and then if you don't like these ones, so I'm gonna keep the one with blonde hair because I currently have blonde hair. I'm gonna delete all these, and I'm not a boy, so I'm gonna delete the boy ones, I don't need those. So with any of these pages that already has text on it, you will see boxes that says text. You can edit these boxes, or if you want to create your own, I've already put um, tables in here for you to keep it all nice and tidy. You put in the tab name and where the page is, because you don't have to put your binder in order of how I have it within the PDF or within the PowerPoint. You can put it in any order you want. My sub binder actually is not in the order that I did each page. I put it in the most cohesive order that made sense to me. Again, you're going to add your text into each of the boxes. Some of the pages have tables instead of text boxes. You can edit those. Add your information. Again, these ones, and then if you notice that something is overlapping, you just have to change the, t the text to make it smaller. So it's all about the text and see how it makes it all nice. So you can do that with any of these over here. You can see all of the pages, they're all here for you to do whatever you wish with. Add text, take it off, delete pages you don't want, put them in any order you want because you can move these and put them in different orders if you don't like how it is, and then print it that way. I hope this has given you a better look into my editable substitute binder. If you have any other questions or you've already purchased it and something is missing, please let me know. I'd be glad and happy to add it for you as I'm sure that it would be great for other short and long-term substitutes. Have a great night.